Allow me the pleasure of introducing you to Blade. Laser. Blazer. My fitness consigliere, Michel. Oh, and I almost forgot. Our last player. Meet Fran Stalinaskovich Davidovitsky. Oh. Well, boys, it's a bad day. Poor girl missed second the other day. So we're gonna have to take her over to the good doctor. The good doctor street speed. Should be fun. So she shifts decent. It's just randomly whenever I'm on the highway after the truck's warmed up, because normally what happens is if I don't let this truck warm up for at least 10 minutes, then it fails to shift into seconds. Um, I mean, the RPMs just fly up and it's like I'm in neutral, totally misses the gear. Um, and then this will happen just randomly on the highway where it'll just miss second and then sometimes catch second um, And it's just becoming the same thing as the starter more and more often. So We're gonna go down to Pet Boys, the best place in the world to see if they have a magic fix What's up, dude? Oh, I'm doing great So what are we doing buddy? What are we doing today? All right, so she's not doing too hot and I think I may have to bring her over for an amputation we're gonna cut that exhaust right off, huh? I guess so. Six cylinder man, really? Like we it's have to do this? Dude, I, I honestly think it you're you're all bummed out about I think it's gonna sound good. Alright. It's a big six uh six cylinder. I mean it's like a farm tractor, and now it's gonna sound like a really shitty farm tractor. It's gonna sound like an actual I mean my mine kinda of sounds good. Mike sounds good. Yours does sound good. I think it'll sound good, dude. Alright. Excited for it. I'm not. Bobby had to come right on over here. He's got the truck and got the Dakota. And it is a six banger truck, so this will be interesting. I've only ever straight piped like uh, V8s uh, and my Volkswagen Corrado, but that's a different story. That was a six and it sounded epic. I think this is gonna sound pretty good. I got a brand new blade for him right there. Plenty of room in the, wow, this thing fits in the garage a lot better than the Taser. Like that's pretty loud as it is. Like your exhaust is, is definitely pretty loud. Yeah, there's something wrong with it. You couldn't even hear mine. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what's wrong with my exhaust. Something's I leaking. Think, I think that you might have a leak. I'm not sure. Who will solve leak? Just make it a bigger leak. Well, I won't have a leak anymore. There's nothing to leak out of. All right. So let's take a look. What do we got? What do we got here? Ooh, I, I don't want him to see. What do we got? I don't want him to see her. What do we got? Exposed. Where the hell is the exhaust at? Oh, here it is. Look for the shiny metal next right. to the uh, corroded so, frame. Is that your cat there? It looks like, yeah. So where, where do we cut, like right here? No, I would say we cut after. I'd say we cut right here. Cut like right here. All right. So we'll cut, well, we'll see. You know, we'll cut here first. And if it's not loud enough, then we'll cut again. We just make two cuts. Yeah, we'll cut again. If it's not loud enough, then we'll cut the cat out. Measure once, cut twice, we'll be good. That's your Bobby now you're, I got some safety glasses for you. Don't worry about it. These are pretty cool. No, well, they better be OSHA somebody. certified. They're OSHA certified, okay, dude. How's there you go. Get your saws off. Oh, it's all No. What have we done? That's exciting. That's what you want to see right there. Dude, I'm not gonna lie, these hangers are so rusted and old. Yeah, I think I've said it before, but the reason this truck is so rusted is because the original owner used to back this thing into the Susquehanna River with his boat and just let it sit there for hours. Like, so like yeah, that those exhaust mounts are really rusty. What's going on? Did you see this, by the way? This, I, I, it appears as though this entire exhaust mount is held on by zip ties. Yeah, I don't know what's going on there. <laughs> like heat shield. Dude, they're there. all like wrapped up. Oh my God. I didn't want to look under this thing because I was so worried. That's hype, dude. All right, so now we'll, we'll figure out how to get it disconnected from all this different shit. All the different hangers. All right. This is going to sound so good, dude. All right, so just cut through the r little rubber hangers. That'll be... Easiest way. Uh, 
There's one two back up, here. There's this two up here. We can, we can definitely get off. Yeah, there's two up so. here. So there, there's two hangers up here. There's the zip tie one, and then there's one at the back, I think. All right. So just cut through the rubber. Yes, sir. One down. Zip tie one is back here. <laughs> See, I, fi it. I figure that's easier than trying to cut through the metal. Got one more back here. And then we're free, buddy. Then we're free as a bird. Oh, baby. Your rear end, it is a little rusty. I'm not gonna lie to you about that. But it's not, it's really not too bad. We put somewhere underneath this, so it doesn't matter. Perfect. The axle should catch it, but... Perfect. Yep! Done deal! Hell yeah, dude. You know what else? It's a big weight savings. Oh yeah, that's what we're looking that's for. That's big, big, that's big. That's gotta be, that's probably a second off your quarter mile. You ready? I'm ready. Let's fire her up, dude. Fire her up. Epic, dude. Wow. Really? What do you think? Uh, dude, I have my doubts. I was worried it was going to yeah. just be a big tractor, but I mean, that sounds amazing. It does sound that. Those pops, dude. dude. Another another job well done at 717 Fab. At the garage. Yep. You guys need anything done, just bring it over to 717. We'll take care of you. We'll get you hooked up and free. Yeah, I'm happy. I don't even charge happy anything. Customer. Yeah. I know, man. Thanks for letting me run your tools, scratch over your freaking floor. You can't beat that, dude. I don't even charge for my modifications. Free charge. All right, on our way to Pet Boys, get a downpipe and uh, some other goodies. I think it turned out good. Yeah, I really did. The turbo whistler. Are these built in? You yeah, already have you the gotta whistlers? Love it, dude. You oh, got that. You got to love. Well, I mean, the Dakota is turboed, so yeah. like it makes sense to have like a double turbo sound. I agree. I agree. Let me see turbo this. Turbo thruster. Like, what is the mindset of someone who buys that? Like, I get wow. it. We're doing some janky shit to our trucks, but really? Well, dude, it's twenty-five bucks. And it's twenty-six dollars. Oh, Look at that. Like it's not even cheap. If it was like five bucks, I could see it as a joke. Good thing I've dodged Dakota. All right, Pet Boys didn't have what we wanted, so we're headed over to Advanced Auto Parts. I got this stuff, it's called Gum Out All-in-One. Probably a gimmick, uh, but I had to buy it because it's called the Advanced P. Mm -hmm. I like your filming strategy. Oh yeah, got the camera upside down. Oh, that, that is a nice snug fit. It is, I think it's good, man. Should be good. Man, looks nice. Get Ooh, it man, that is hot as f Dude, that catalytic converter is hot as f Your gloves, Bobby? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 
Mechanics would charge 50 bucks an hour for this. I know. Yeah, I got my coming for free. I appreciate it, buddy. There you go. There she is, tucked away. The sun has gone down, straight piping. It sounds awesome. I'm truly happy with how it turned out. I hope you guys like it. Please let me know in the comments. Um, I just cannot believe what a six cylinder can really sound like whenever you open it up. Um, I understand like it's just a V6, like it doesn't sound that great, but it's just, it's impressive what a difference it does sound like after you take off some junk exhaust and just cut it and it just sounds so much better. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know what you guys think. I'll read all comments, thumbs up, subscribe. I appreciate you guys watching. Have a great day.